Those evacuation orders can be a headache, even more so if you have livestock to protect. These fires are forcing many horses and their owners across the Front Range into unfamiliar territory. Alan Janae checked in on the relocation. Alan, even the animals, I'm sure, are feeling the stress. Well, they, they've talked about that, Kathy, and it certainly seems to be the case for many of them. Tonight, here outside the Budweiser Events Center in Loveland, there are still animals being boarded. And remember, the Cameron Peak fire here started back in August. Colorado's foothills are certainly a dream destination of wide open spaces for animals and their owners. But when wind driven fire kicks up, getting the animals out can be as tough as pulling a mule up a ladder. It's not home, but for a horse, sometimes you have to make do. Cherie Baker is just thankful there's a place for her horses. I cannot say enough about how wonderful everybody here has been through all of it. Just getting the horses she and her partner used for therapeutic training out was a chore. But thankfully, we got all of our horses loaded. The ride was frightening. You can see the flames in these houses. But when they got them to the Boulder Fairgrounds, <laughs> There were hundreds. All the horses are screaming and upset and stressed, and it was so well handled. We watched some of the difficulty Friday at Sylvandale Guest Ranch. They smell the smoke and they sense the tension. One young horse in Loveland fought the idea of a trailer for hours. He went to a pasture owned by the ranch. But for many, the fairgrounds was the only place. Lindsay Bolin was back to exercise and check on them. My other Mustang is uh, over there and he's been very stressed out and he's normally my biggest eater and he's been having a hard time eating and relaxing. But some horses this day even seemed unwilling to go home. Horse owners are plenty ready. Right now, we're really hopeful we can move back on Thursday. <laughs> but who knows? We're just going to have to wait and see. Yeah. yeah, Shari is hoping that a change in the weather is a big help. Over 500 animals went to the Boulder County Fairgrounds on Friday night for refuge. Most of them have now been moved out to other boarding arrangements. And when the call went out, Kathy, for help with feed and hay here, in Loveland and in Boulder. Well, Coloradans responded right away in a big way and helped out. Testimony to the kind of people we have in this state. In Loveland, I'm Alan Janae covering Colorado First.